Hi, my name's Dave Cad. How's it going? So today you join me here at the summer house. I've actually spent the entire summer here this year, and actually for the last three years I've spent entire summers here at, at the summer cottage. The summer house culture is actually one of my favourite things about Finland. So today I'm going to show you five things that you've got to do if you get the chance to visit a Finnish summer house. Sometimes at the summer house you might be lucky enough to have enough space to grow some of your own uh, vegetables and things like that, but usually there's a whole forest full of goodies which you can go and collect yourself. Things that just grow naturally here in the forest, so it's definitely something you need to go and check out. So there are plenty of mushrooms in the Finnish forests, but there are also some dangerous ones, like this little fella. I'm not actually sure what that's called, it's like a fly mushroom or something? But yeah, it'll make you pretty sick if you eat that, so stay away. And I mean, it doesn't look that appetizing, red and oof. We're venturing deep into the forest now. I'm never usually that lucky at finding uh, chanterelles, but maybe today will be a different day. <laughs> maybe I'll get lucky today. Okay, so far we've only found tiny, tiny little ones, but now check these out. <laughs> That is the stuff. This is the yellow gold of the forest. Now I'm sure there are other very delicious uh, mushrooms here in the forest, but this is the one I'm looking for today. And there's actually two good sized ones here. Let's see if I can get this one out. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. And you really have to keep your eyes peeled when you're looking for chanterelle, because the leaves, especially at this time of year, are starting to turn a little bit yellow. So, you, you can be walking and just be like, oh no, that's a leaf, that's a leaf, but here's some more. So, whilst you're out looking for your yellow gold, you can also find some blue, I don't know, <laughs> sapphire. Chances are you're probably walking through a bunch of blueberries. Like right in front of me now, I can see tons. Sometimes you don't have to look further than the road to find some yellow gold. Fishing also is one of my favourite things to do whilst you're at the summer house. Finland is known as the land of a thousand lakes, but in actual fact, depending on how you judge a lake to be, there is probably closer to 180 odd thousand lakes here in Finland. And that's not even counting the archipelago where we are now. So there's plenty of water and plenty of fish to catch. Alright, so we've got our first fish of the day, and it's probably the smallest fish I've ever caught. In you come. Little fella. So here we go, good start to the day, a little <laughs> tiny little pike. Even on these small ones you can see their mouths are nothing you want to put your finger in. I've had my fair share of uh, bloody fingers from these little guys. Let's put him back. Maybe he'll grow to be a monster one day, but whee! There he goes. Oh, you've got fish slime on you, on your face now, sorry about that. So I just stopped at this little spot here and I was reeling in my bait and I saw a load of perch following. So I changed to a small spinner and huzzah! And while you're on the boat, why not take a little trip out into the Finnish archipelago? For example, today we've taken a little trip out to an island where there is a fountain of youth. So I'm going to take a little drink from that, you know, every little helps.
So, of course, at the summer house, you have to jump in the sauna. And by the way, always remember to pronounce it sauna and not sauna, like I grew up thinking it was. But the Finns invented it, so they should know how to say it, I guess. I'm a bit of an amateur myself. I like to come into the sauna about 65, 70 degrees at push. I'm still trying to get a bit used to the, the heat, but some Finns will go into a sauna at 100 degrees or I guess even more. They even have sauna competitions. I wouldn't recommend that though because I've, I've heard that people die doing that. But most summer houses have some kind of sauna and actually in Finland a lot of homes have saunas inside them too. Fun fact, there's more saunas than cars in Finland. So now you've been in the sauna, you've been for a fishing trip and a boat trip and you've been to the forest to pick mushrooms and blueberries, there's only one thing left to do and that is go for a swim. Get me out of here. Whose idea was this? And as a bonus number six, you just gotta chill. Being surrounded by so much beautiful nature and water, there's nothing you can do but relax. So go ahead, treat yourself. So there we have it. Those are the things that you've absolutely got to do if you have the chance to visit a Finnish summer house. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the This Is Finland YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.